All right, people, let's do this. Uh, installing the Puffin TV browser on here. So a couple things you're gonna need to have on your RI TV stick is the downloader app right there. It's in your app store if you need to find it. You just go to your app store at the top. You know, I go to apps over here, or the easiest way of doing it is to do a search on it. Click on the search and then click down, you know, downloader, of course, in there. I already installed, so I'm gonna save the time and just do it this way. So let's get out of here. Um, the other thing, of course, you need to make sure in your settings, underneath your uh, preferences, I'm sorry, My Fire TV, you need to make sure that you have unknown services clicked in. So if you go to, uh, let's see, about, no, that's not it, sorry, I apologize. Um, you'll see AP debugging on, and then apps from unknown sources, it'll show it normally off. You want to make sure it says on in here. Let's get out of here and go back, press the home button here. There we go. The only reason I have downloader on here, and it's not the site we're gonna use, it's just, just temporary on here, is to use it just to get the Puffin TV browser. So we click on the downloader, open it up. We have it installed. I was working in it earlier, but if you go over, when you first come into this application, on the right, you're going to see you're going to hit the browser, which is, if you look real quick, is this right here. Once you select that, it's going to give you a different page up here. And all you do at the top of the page is go and change the description to www.google.com. When it does that, it's going to bring up this over here. And then you can click in Puffin TV APK is what you, you really want to do. So if you do, um, and then just right here, select that, it'll give you an option. We'll get a space um, APK mirror actually that'll probably get you the quickest we'll see if it does it this way I've done it different ways I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys to install the Puffin TV browser because this browser right here even though it's in this function of downloader I mean it's crap it locks up or freezes JavaScript's a pain in the ass for it you know fun fun stuff like that it's it just drives you bonkers so Drives me crazy. I mean, it took me forever to get to work the first time. So, um, let's see, Puffin TV, make sure that's the right one. I think it is, but let me make sure. Yeah, that's that one I looked at. There's a bunch of them. When you're looking through the apps, it'll... A bunch of crap on the apps, so you got to be careful. I think APKPure.com, I think that's... No, that's a crap one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that tries to install um, stuff on you. So it says puppet APK mirror APK. That's the one you want to click on here, right there. So you see, I have it highlighted right here. Click on that one. Now this is the fun thing. You're gonna to have to go through a bunch of advertisements loading down to get to the right one. That's how they get paid through these sites with their advertisement. It makes it really annoying for you. Uh, I'm just warning you right now. You want to go nuts, You're, it's going to make you go nuts. Um, I'm remotely clicking up, and as you see, if I click up, it likes to lock into certain things. It's It can be annoying, and I do apologize. It's not my fault. It's their dang sites. The best thing, of course, is wait for it to load all the way across the bar over here. Let all the advertisement pop up for you. There we go. Let it load up, load up, blah, blah, blah. And then if you look... You'll see me highlighting, see APK mirror. So I went left and right to the point so I could get that point highlighted at the top left there. So just keep following it down. Just follow your cursor. You're going to see what it's doing. See, look at that crap. It tries to get you. Yeah. We don't need this one. It keeps doing the, I, it's a pain in the ass sometimes, like I said. <laughs> oh. I didn't have this problem the last time I did it. I don't, I don't know why it's doing this right now. Um, I don't make these things. I don't make the sites. There we go. So I went over to the far, far right before it loaded up. And you can see it says ARM V78. So I'm on the download right there on this button right here. So I know it's an older version. Just click on it. It's going to bring you another version for it. So don't stress about that. You know, same thing, go left to right till you see your cursor, uh, highlight something. 
There it is right there. You see mine right there. Just keep going down. It's going to try to keep getting you to do stuff. Don't, don't stress about it. Just, just keep going down to the point where you can find it. So here, we'll just keep on going down. Make sure I'm at the right spot. There it is. Okay, so, so if you notice, I kept just going down. And if I get to this point right here, if you go down one more time with the remote, it looks like it disappears, but it's on the download APK. So click that. So select it, meaning hit your circle button on the remote. You can see it's going to load up for you. Let it run through. It'll do it. There we go. So it's downloading the file. Install file. It's our IRA download this file, so it's it's you know it's fine. But don't worry about it. It's normal for this to do this. It happened to me earlier. See, it says, "Do you want to install over the existing? Your data will be lost." So I'm gonna say no, because I already have it on there. Well, you know what? Um, oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and if you want to install the application here. This will be the last. The update application will get you access to new and all. So we'll just go ahead and just do. All. All go down, highlight the install down here in the left, right there. Press install. We're gonna install it. We didn't want me to install it because I already the way I did it, probably. So it will download, don't stress about it. It works. I've done it, or obviously a few different times. So it was already downloaded. What this does in the downloader. It gives you the option, once you download it, because it's saved to your, your actual device, to get rid of it. So, of course, you can either just just click done if you don't want to delete it, if you're worried about getting it off of there. But if you delete, it's just going to take the file off your system and your downloader. So it's just going to clear memory is what it does. Press done. Now let's get out of here. So if you press home now, go back out. Give it a second. And it should... Let's see if it pulls up here. It's not, so not yet. It's not up there yet. Let's just make sure. See if it's over here yet. Let's see all. Let's see what we got here. And where are you, Puffin TV? Where are you, little? There he is. Right there, little Puffin. Click on it and open it up. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this browser, it's the best browser and easiest way of installing APKs instead of going through someone's app store like Apptoid or, or things like that. Very easy and actually everything works. So I'm using the mouse, the actual arrow buttons. So this is a good way to install certain things. Um, and I'm going to show, show that in the next video using this browser to install things like, uh, of course, Popcorn TV, TTV, a Terrarium version of TV that works. And, of course, um, you definitely want to install like uh, ExpressVPN or IP, IPVanish. I use ExpressVPN because I, and I'll show you why in another feature video. So, yeah, there it is. This is how you install Puffin TV on the Fire TV, Fire Stick TV, and the Fire Cube. Um, any of those, or even a Fire TV, which has a TV with Fire TV built in completely. Um, yeah, it's it can be frustrating. Just take your time following what I showed you, and you'll be good to go. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, leave me let me know. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great day. Thank you.